United States is cooking. Most of the country is sweltering in above 90 degree weather. States like Texas, Oklahoma, and New Jersey are seeing record breaking temperatures. Wichita Falls saw temps spike to 115 degrees. It's for these reasons and what we're seeing all around the world that hundreds of staffers at the congressional and federal level signed on to a letter to President Joe Biden demanding that he do more to stop global warming. Last week, the White House rolled out about $2 billion to fight climate change, which, well, it's less than a tenth of what Joe Biden proposed to give to U.S. police to stop an almost entirely manufactured crime panic. Biden wants $37 billion to hire 100,000 new cops, basically to post up outside CVSs to make sure poor people don't steal baby formula. Compare that to the $2 billion he offered to fight climate change. Declaring a climate emergency would allow the president to divert even more resources to curbing carbon emissions, similar to how President Trump was able to unlock funding to build portions of the southern border wall by declaring a national emergency over immigration. All people are asking is Biden do at least as much to address a real crisis as Trump was willing to do to address a completely made up one. Instead of doing that, though, the White House is bragging about oil companies saving Americans about a dollar a day by lowering gas prices, created an awkward moment during Monday's White House briefing when Press Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre expressed concern about climate change induced heat waves and wildfires while also boasting about low gas prices, as though the latter isn't making the former worse. Okay, I just have two things at the top, and then we'll get started. Okay, so we are closely monitoring the wildfires raging through Western United States, as well as the extreme heat conditions impacting millions of Americans. The president has also been receiving regular updates. Uh, our hearts go out to the people who have been impacted uh, by these extreme weather conditions, including those who may have lost their homes or businesses to what has become California's biggest fire so far this summer. It is clear that the impacts of extreme weather are intensifying across the country, uh, which is why President Biden will continue to take bold action uh, to tackle the climate crisis and protect Americans from threats like extreme heat. In the coming days and weeks, our administration will continue uh, announcing actions to help communities coping with extreme heat, mitigate wildfire risk, and tackle the climate crisis. One last thing before we start, uh, President Biden is committed to doing everything he can to lower costs for the American people. We have now seen more than five straight weeks of gas pricing prices dropping, and the current drop in gas prices remains one of the fastest declines in over a decade. It's tempting to say that the inaction stems from cowardice, but it's not really cowardice if Democrats don't really care about taking on fossil fuel companies in the first place. Do have to report that there is a bit of a silver lining here. The biggest roadblock in the Senate to passing significant investments in fighting climate change, Senator Joe Manchin announced he tested positive for COVID on Monday. Now, with someone still recovering from the virus, it would be awfully crummy of me to wish ill on anyone else who has it. But I'm going to, anyways. Eat shit, Joe Manchin. Hey, thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of our new videos. Also, if you want to see Means Morning News in its complete form, not just the clips we post here, head on over to Means TV and get access to all our new episodes and our entire backlog, plus tons of other great movies and original TV shows.